Taylor, thank you. In today's Ask Anthony, you know, I'm not a lacrosse player, but I know it involves one of these. So a coach contacted me because he feels like his lacrosse team is getting the short end of the stick. His team has been just upset that they haven't been able to get to their games. So with nowhere else to turn, having to delay games and cancel them, they turn to me for help. Lacrosse is a high energy team oriented sport. You have to use one of these long handled sticks with a net to get the ball into the goal. But for the stand and prep Blue Devils, it's really tiring on us. Their main competition is off the field. We can't let that happen to our kids. Jim Condon is the boys lacrosse coach at Stand and Prep. He says Duval County Public Schools has a contract with a local bus company to take the team to their away games, but there's a problem. I would say unreliable, but that would be an understatement. He says the buses are delayed or they don't show up at all. We had eight away games this year. We had to drive ourselves to four of them. No bus. The other four, the bus was anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half late. Coach Condon says that has put unnecessary stress on his players and it affects their performance. Elijah Coulange is a senior on the team. Because of this, we've always been late to our games or we've had to push them back or even cancel them. If they don't want to cancel, the players have to drive themselves at the last minute. I've got some great young men here. But as we all know, 17 and 8 year olds are not the best drivers on the planet. Right. Junior Tanner Watson says they had issues with their first away game, which was in St. Johns County. They had to call him four times and we finally got a bus hour and a half late. He says they only had 10 minutes to warm up before they had to play the game. The name of the bus company is Randall Transportation. I gave them a call. Hello, my name is uh, Anthony Austin with First Coast News. How are you? But I was told the owner was not available and they would pass along my message. Randall Transportation has 3.4 out of 5 stars on Google. One review from a year ago says, Unfortunately, my school uses this bus company and they drop the ball almost every day. Our kids are constantly late to and from school. As for Coach Condon, he just wants better communication between the drivers and coaches. And then, here's a shock, be there when they say they're going to be there. So I contacted Randall Transportation this afternoon. This was my third phone call since yesterday. The person who answered said they would not be discussing this situation with me, and they hung up the phone. I did receive a statement from Duval County Public Schools. It reads in part, we're sorry to hear of this report. Uh, the district actually provides schools with a list of 16 common carriers. Schools can use multiple carriers throughout the school year as they deem necessary. We would be happy to connect this individual with school or district leadership who can assist him. Remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com.